received another statement I have been asked to comment upon that seeing or realizing omens is more important than power for your protection. And this is a statement I wholeheartedly agree with. An omen is in a way a manifestation of something yet to come, which is in a way already existing in the energetic world, and it's in a way manifesting themselves or creating certain events in the physical world. And if you are aware of that, you will see the wave coming before it hits you. So seeing omens gives you the opportunity to prepare, sometimes days before, sometimes only minutes before, depending on the omen, how strong the event is, how well the preparations on the other side were not to show omens. And an omen can be, in a way, a natural effect of the events which are coming, the energy which is gathering, which will have its cast its shadow in the form of an omen. Or an omen can be a deliberate warning by, for instance, your guides, your ancestors, or some other powers which um, are beneficial to yourself. The omen itself, by being linked to the event, can also be used or sympathetic magic. So if you let the omen play out, it is in a way a foreboding, a harbinger of what is to come. But you can also act upon the omen. You can say like, okay, I'm confronted with this situation. What is the perfect way to respond to it? And by already responding to it in the perfect way, you're also showing that this energy will not be able to be successful even if it does manifest and that you have already mastered the skill of dealing with this you don't need to learn this lesson anymore and then sometimes the whole threat itself can dissipate without you having to face it by just showing your readiness by showing that you're prepared you can deal with it in the proper fashion so reacting to omens is also a sign of control, a sign of skill. And if a person is skilled, that is a lot more important than whether a person is powerful. A powerful person who is unskilled, they can easily be blindsided. Their power can be used against them and their power can be bound. Uh, so there's many ways to counteract power. There's a lot less ways to counteract skill and working with omens and working with sympathetic magic is very much a sign of skill. So it is often much more intimidating for people in the know than raw power is. Because raw power can usually not last for a very long time. It can be avoided because raw power, by its very nature, to manifest itself strongly needs to be localized in time and in place. So it cannot be everywhere, while a skillful person can easily move around and act everywhere. So it's a choice. Do you want to be skillful or do you want to be powerful? I tend to prefer skillful myself, but there are people who enjoy the power. Um, usually these are people who have very low self-confidence and confidence for them comes from having power, comes from seeing the effects they can create and usually the lower the level of manifestation uh, the greater their assurances so their ability to perform in a way magical healings of the physical body or uh, transmutations, levitation, um, things like this who have rather gaudy physical effects um, yeah, it's of course you're special, you can prove that you're special. And people who work in more subtle ways, um, changing person's life paths a little bit, um, bestowing blessings, this is all in the background, this is not so visible. And people with big egos tend not to go for that kind of thing. But people with big egos tend not to be the most dangerous people around because their ego controls them. 
so they have very little freedom of action. Also the ego itself is always full of fear of losing its power. So the ego really narrows a person's focus, narrows a person's path, and also thereby limits a person's abilities to a very small area. So a person with power is very powerful in their specialization. Outside of their specialization, they tend to be weak. So yes, I would choose omens over power and skill over power any day. I hope you do the same. Good luck with that.